there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to take a look at this box of stuff I got from Sean's 3D Printing, which is a seller on Etsy. So uh, I will link this down below. I love handmade businesses and I just think it's cool what they can do with 3D printers now. And as you know, I love mini watercolor palettes. So um, I just thought this would be so much fun. When he reached out to me and asked if I would be willing to look at his palettes, I, I thought, sure, why not? So let's take a look and see what he sent. It's got a cute sticker here. It's got a nice foam protectant pad. These are actually really handy to save for several reasons, this type of foam material, because if you like to paint things, um, like with acrylic paints and whatnot, like or do paper beads or anything where you've got like paint or varnish or whatnot, you can set them on a styrofoam like this, and it won't um, it won't stick. So you can let them dry on them. You can also use that if you like put paper down. You want to poke with like a paper piercer to do stitching holes or whatnot. So these are really handy. Not to mention as just as packaging, but. Um, I highly recommend when you do get packaging with that, just keep the, keep at least one of those around for that. And I would have some bubble wrap, which I recycle. Um, I recycle all my packaging, so when I have to send out stuff, I have that. Um, let's take a look. Okay, my goodness, there's a lot of things to choose, so I'm going to pick out this first. Now, this is a tin about the size of an Altoids tin. It's got custom printing on it, Sean's 3D printing. And, oh, look at this. It's a teeny little palette. So this is 3D printed, and it's... Uh, size to fit in an Altoids tin, I believe. And let's see how many wells. One, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four. So that would be a 24 well palette. So you could put 24 colors in there. This right here is a, oh, it looks like a 12, like full pan palette, just about. That would be really handy because you still get room to put a full brush in there. Now with tins like this, I think I would recommend spray painting the inside with some white enamel like Rust-Oleum. Um, or you could put like a vinyl, white vinyl sticker in there or something so you can use the, um, so you can use the top as mixing area as well. Then we've got this one here. And this is a, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. This is a 15 well palette. These look like your standard half pan size, I would say. That's nice, 15 half pans for your travel palette. And let's see, now we've got some tiny little tins here. One looks like a lip balm. You ever had a lip balm uh, that comes in something like that? Oh my gosh, that is sweet. Look at that, it's like seven little wells. Oh, that's really adorable. You can almost just stick that, put that in your pocket with a water brush and a little sketchbook. That is adorable. And then let's look and see what this is. When we got, um, my sister, actually my sister got married, she had these little mint tins in there about this size with like a sticker on them. Oh, this is what I think. Ooh, got a little, um, a little mixing area to go on the top. Oh, nice. And then you've got uh, 12 wells there. I would say quarter pan size. Now his mixing areas, he said, are resined. So um, so that's nice, probably prevents staining from the, the white plastic. I actually resined the inside of one of my wooden palettes because it was just spray painted basically. And I was afraid that it would stain and the, um, and the, um, and the paint might leak through, the water might leak through. So that's really nice. So that will keep it looking good or it should. And then you just stack that back up. And let's see what we have here with a couple of Altoids Smalls tins. So this one has, um, oh, it's got a six well palette on the inside and it's got this part that just kind of locks onto it for a mixing area. And I bet you could use either a magnet, like a clip with a magnet. Um, you know at the Dollar Tree you can get those, they're metal clips and they have a magnet on one side. You could use that to hold either part of these and you could use that for mixing. You could even spray that and use it for mixing or get another one of those little ones. I wonder if that would fit in there. This one might be a little big because I don't think it's, that one's a little big for that. But um, but either way you could actually, I'll show, I think I have one of those magnets so I can show you what I mean. Why don't we do that? Yes, I got one right here. I'll have to take the stuff off of it though that I've clipped onto it. So if I took my sketchbook and I clipped the little clip here. These are like four for a dollar at Dollar Tree or three for a dollar or maybe six for a dollar. I don't remember. And then you could do that. See? And then you've got both of those spaces you can use. Or you could put a little paper towel in there for wiping your brush on. You could turn it around if you prefer it that way. So that's really cool. I like how you can, you know, that's pretty compact. That's nice. I like that. All right. I need to get some more of these. I love these. I use them on the fridge to like, so I can clip like a bundle of papers and a regular magnet wouldn't cut it. All right, let's see. In this, 
was another Altoids tin, and in here we've got we've got three full pans. Okay, so this is similar. What did we see that had the, was it this that had the three full pans? That had. Why am I thinking there was another one like about that size with three full pans? Okay, I'm just losing my mind. Never mind. Never mind. And then here we've got a bunch of palettes. So let's take a look. Sean's 3D printing. Uh, oh, here's all the information. I will put it in the video description. Sean's 3D printing, pre-designed and custom 3D printing. Thank you for your business. Facebook at Sean's 3D printing. Um, Instagram is Sean's 3D printing. And then Etsy, it's etsy.com slash shop slash Sean's 3D prints. So, um, oh, it's uh, Facebook is 3D prints. Instagram's 3D printing. And then it's 3D prints on Etsy. So anyway, that will all be in the video description. If you want to screenshot it, you could do that. But I will put that there so you can find it. But these are really clever. I, I just think it's such a neat idea. I don't have a 3D printer. I don't know if I have the patience for one of those. But it's neat to see these together like this. Let, now let's see. I think these would fit in the lid of like an Altoids tin. Oh, look at that. Yeah, see, then you wouldn't have to, um, you wouldn't have to spray paint anything and then you could just stack it up like that. And you could also still put, put like a uh, folded up rag or paper towel or something there. And then when you get out to, to paint, pull that out, put that there. Let's see if the clip would hold that. See if that's strong enough. Let's see, la di da. I'm gonna go to the place, and do some painting. Oh yeah, you could even have that resting on your sketchbook a little bit more, so you have some more room. Yeah, that's nice. These clips are awesome. Maybe he should sell these too. I don't know. <laughs> you can just go to the Dollar Tree and buy those. Uh, so there's a few varieties of the mixing areas. There's a big flat area. There's a four well, and there's a double. Um, I think any of them would be useful. Just to, uh, maybe if you do more landscapes, you might want the four wells so you can mix up a larger area of like the sky color and not have it leak out or maybe even the double well. But um, for me, I think I'd prefer either the four well or the solid, the, the one well. And then, oh, this must be, because this is not resin, this must be like for additional colors. So if you wanted to maybe have an extra um, 15 colors or something. Maybe you just want to do little bits or maybe you're sharing paints with a friend and you just want to sample. Your friend wants to share some colors with you. You just want to get a little bit there. You could do that. You could actually stack up all three. But I think if you were going to put paint on there, you'd want to have that one on the top because I, I doubt, you, I don't know, maybe you're neater than I am, but I don't think I'd be able to get... Ah, come on out. I don't think I would be able to... Um, put paint in there and have it so level that it wouldn't like get stuck to the thing above it. So I would do it like that. So then I just have the lid on top. And if something does it on the lid, I can pick it up with a paintbrush. So I think that's how I do it. If I wanted to bring an extra amount of colors, like maybe you're really into the super granulating colors. So you want to have some super granulating colors with you, but that's pretty cool. And then um, these are nice. I think something like this would be really nice with like the um, Kiritake Genzai Tambi paints where they don't have a mixing area and you've just got that really big, um, you know, really big rectangle of just paint pans. Something like this, you could probably fit that right in the bowl. Let me see if, let me grab my box of your uh, Genzai Tambi and see if that would fit in there because I think that would be really handy. Sorry, I'm not more prepared. Uh, I had a general idea of what was in here, but I wasn't, I wanted to kind of be surprised a little bit as I was looking. So this is my Ganzi tape. I, I treated myself to this. I have the smaller set, but it was getting pretty used up. So if I had that in there, or even if I had a couple of those in there. I mean, the lid closes pretty well. It's it's not really taking that, that much space. And then you've got the mixing area. I think that if you were a traditional uh, calligraphy artist, I, that these were originally designed for you probably don't mix you probably go right from the pan and just use the color pure right to the rice paper but if you're using this in more of a western style you'd want to be able to mix and that would be really great for uh for having a like a nice trim mixing area that you could keep with those paints so i think that's really cool i think it's all cool i think it's a lot of fun i'm glad he reached out to me because i'm sure you guys like to know about this stuff especially if you like um if you like cute little tins i have a cute little tin actually that I bought and I turned into a palette and I'm really curious. I think I have it, I have it right here. I'm curious to see if these would fit in it. So I found this at Spirit Halloween a few years ago and I've been keeping, I did originally use it for a, for a palette. I spray painted the inside with some white spray paint. Um, and right now I just keep my extra um, colored 
uh, fountain pen inks and a converter in there, but I'm going to see if, because I think this is probably about the size of an Altoids tin. I want to see, I put poster putty on the ones I opened. I don't know if they still seem to be liquid, so I guess it's all right. Um, I'm wondering if, oh yeah, that will fit in there. I'm wondering if the bigger palettes, because let's see, I want that full pan one. Yes, look at that. So if you've got, if you like to collect those cute tins, that's a great way to get you, make some use out of them. And then you don't even have to spray paint them if you don't want to. Cause I can see my spray paint's kind of chipping right there where you close the, the lid. So, um, so that's very cool. So you don't have to use Altoids tins. I think a lot of tins are probably about this size, but I just fell in love with that, uh, with that one. I don't know if they still have them or not, but, um, oh look, licensed by Hasbro. <laughs> So go to your fine spirit Halloween store see if you can find some cool some cool tins. I found tins at Dollar Tree and stuff too, like with uh, mints in them and whatnot. They weren't um, Altoids brand, but they just looked cool, so I grabbed them. But anyway, that's uh, that's that. Those are goodies from Sean's 3D Printing. I will be using some of these as I um, test out new watercolors. I'll need ho homes for them, so these will come in very handy for that. Uh, thank you so much for watching this unboxing today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And um, we will see... The, you know what we should do, though, actually? Before we get too carried away, why don't we see how the um, how the mixing on that resin surface is? Let's try that. i got a pot of water right here. Let me just mix a couple colors today uh, together there. Um, let's see. A little bit of beating up. Not Actually, not too bad. Kind of reminds me of like, the bullet proof glass from um, uh, from Mission Gold. We're using some phthalo blue. That's a really staining color. So let's let that sit for a minute, then we'll wipe it off. I know it's a little wasteful, but I just want to see if the um, if they're going to stain or not, because phthalo stains pretty quick if it's going to stain. T-shirt here. a little bit of a stain but let me uh let me go over it with paper towel real quick and see the fresh fresh water all right well it might stain a little bit oh it's hard to dry off actually <laughs> there we go well, it's pretty minimal. The staining's pretty minimal, but we didn't leave it on that long. I don't know if it even shows up on camera. So, I mean, I guess I would say don't expect it to be absolutely pristine, but I mean, that's not a big concern of mine. I think it might, they might have resined it, maybe not so it's non-staining, but so that you can clean it. Because if you have, like if we put this color here on this, the 3D printed stuff, I think it's going to grab it more, which you would want for your pan because you don't want it to, you don't want your paint to pop out. Let's just put some on there and see. Oh, I think he probably resined it because it does beat up a lot on this material versus the resin. It spreads it on the resin a little bit more. So that must be the, the reason for the resining. We're going to have a resining, friends. Actually, that doesn't really stain. That's not really that staining, so on the uh, right on the, the raw plastic. So yeah, it must have just been a situation so it isn't beat up on the for the user. But anyway, uh, I think these are delightful. I think they're cute. I think that um, that that's a really neat idea with a little with a little clip on your sketchbook. So if you need some small palettes, or you like to have tiny palettes to, you know, maybe sort some of your colors by brand or just have a, some, you know, fun little travel palettes to take around. Go check out the links. Go. Check out a shop on Etsy or follow them on social media and see what they're up to because these are fun. I I love little palettes, so I thought it would be fun, something fun to share. I just wanted to come back with a little follow up on the unboxing of the Sean's 3D printing palette. So um, again, I will remind you that uh, he sent me these to review. Uh, this is not sponsored. It was not paid. Um, and I don't get any uh, kickbacks or anything if you buy anything. So I uh, just want to let you know that I did want to let you know you can find them on Etsy. Um, 
at Sean's 3D Prints. You can find them on Instagram at Sean's 3D Printing and on Facebook at Sean's 3D Prints. So um, I'll link that down below. Well, I'll link the Etsy shop anyway down below. Um, I wanted to show you this mixing area with paint still on it. You can see the resin prevents things from beading, which is really nice. I've been using these little trays a lot. They're very handy. They do stain, um, but I mean, it doesn't really bother me. You probably could get the stains up with like toothpaste or magic eraser, but honestly, it doesn't bother me. I can still see my colors. These are extremely handy. Um, what I've been doing, I've been using this palette a lot. I use this little shallow one because I had a set of 32 paints I was getting ready to review. Um, so I have, uh, I think that's 24. Um, and then I have this one of 15 and I just kind of put that like that. And then I can put the little, a little mixing area on like that and close it and it's so handy. Uh, this one right here has a little, oh, what I do with it? Has, oh, right here, a little, um, another little mixing area that comes with it. It's just, it's just so handy. I love the little mixing areas because I can, uh, I could dry that off, um, because I can separate my swatch. I can put a swatch in there and no, it won't get paint on it, which is really handy. So I like to put it like that. So I, even if there was water on it, it wouldn't hurt anything. Um, there's a lot of different options, so depending on what you like, oh, I just showed you that one. Um, this one right here. Depending on what like what you like, you can get exactly what you want, and these are really handy because I mean, yeah, you could spray paint the inside of an Altoids tin, um, but you can do that too. So I like that I could actually put a swatch in there and protect it. So. Yeah, I like these. I'm finding these very handy. Um, I've been using them a lot over the last couple of weeks and I have no qualms. I recommend them. If you were looking for something like this, um, the quality's good. And I think he even sells seconds. So if you're not like, I mean, hey, what's your palette gonna look like after you get paint in it? It's not gonna be perfect. I mean, it's a nice way to save some money and to get some, you know, some product that otherwise might not be used, used. So yeah, Sean's 3D printing. Uh, I've been enjoying these, I recommend them might be something that you're interested in. So just thought I would share that after the unboxing because I it's hard to say whether you like something until you've actually used it and put it to the test. And um, these have all worked as expected and I'm very pleased with them. So there you have it. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy these unboxing reviews, if you enjoy learning about new products, because um, I think it's fun. I think it's fun to learn about these new companies and share them with you. And uh, I'd love to know what you think. So let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.